Kurgan here again, back with another BF3 weapon review. Today, we're going to be looking at another personal defense weapon, this time the M5K. Now, I've already reviewed the M5K and the changes it received from Armored Kill, but with Aftermath, it gets a few more tweaks and a bug fix, so I felt an overview is in line to show the AK changes in case anybody hasn't seen my video for that, and also to talk about the Aftermath changes. The only change to this weapon from Armored Kill was a damage revision. It went from a max of 20 damage to a max of 25 damage. And that may not seem like a lot, but that's what made a night and day difference for this weapon. It went from about 15,000 users on BF3 stats for PC to something like 55,000 users now. That's just such a massive difference after one patch. This weapon existed before then, so so many more people started using it simply because of that damage change. That change alone made it surpass the MP7 as the fastest time to kill personal defense weapon. And beyond personal defense weapons, there's only a few select weapons that have a faster time to kill than this, and none of them are nearly as accurate from the hip, so they actually have to take time to aim down sight. They have to take that time to raise their gun up and aim down that sight, and that is time that takes away from that time to kill. So the M5K is actually probably one of the fastest, if not the fastest time to kill, consistently simply because of that factor. Now, the damage revision created some problem. By comparison to other personal defense weapons, the M5K has strange recoil characteristics. Most personal defense weapons have a high horizontal recoil, which makes the bullets fan out, making these weapons less accurate the farther the target is away because the bullets are spreading sideways rather than up and down. You just can't control it as well. The M5K, on the other hand, has a high vertical recoil and a pretty low horizontal recoil. Now, you might think the high vertical recoil would make it hard to control from the hip, but the M5K also has an obscenely high recoil decrease, which almost made the vertical recoil unnoticeable. So basically, it's a weapon with extremely low horizontal recoil and low vertical recoil because of that recoil decrease. And on top of that, it fires just as accurate from the hip as it does aiming down the sights. So couple all those things in together and it just was a really deadly weapon. And the fact that it had a high vertical recoil but not horizontal even allowed the M5K to be a competent weapon at range. Yeah, you would have to probably drop the whole clip, but since those bullets didn't fan out, you could actually kill targets at long range even while hip firing. So it was really just an amazing weapon to use. Um, now let's talk about the changes for the M5K from the Aftermath patch and what it means for it. They have now brought its characteristics more in line with what personal defense weapons are in this game. They have increased the uh, horizontal recoil and they are lowering the vertical recoil. This might make it slightly better in close quarter situations because it's not going to have that jump and horizontal recoil really doesn't matter that much in close quarters because your target's right in front of you. But at range, it will have an effect and it will mean this weapon will not be as good, which it's a personal defense weapon. That's what it should be anyways. Um, though it does keep its high recoil decrease. So it's still a capable weapon. It's going to be really interesting for a lot of people because that horizontal recoil with the recoil decrease is uh, not something else that is seen in other weapons. It's really unique to this gun and it uh, makes it stand out a lot. And considering that it has that recoil decrease, you're still going to be able to drop people at range. I mean, you really can with any weapon, but I think it's still a bit more capable at range than the other personal defense weapons because of that recoil decrease. Now, what do these changes mean? I personally think that these changes bring the M5K a bit more in line with what it should be, with what a personal defense weapon is. Uh, less controllable because it's got that side-to-side -side movement and easy to fire from the hip without a ton of recoil because they fire, you know, it's really small rounds in these guns and they fire very fast. So it's still an amazing weapon, but now it's just not quite as good at range. And it's a bit less accurate overall because of that horizontal recoil increase. I still believe, though, sadly, that this weapon casts a shadow on the MP7 because the MP7 has basically the exact same characteristics. It fires 50 rounds a minute faster but it does 5 less damage per bullet and that 50 rounds difference is just not enough and the fact that that 50 rounds difference actually hurts it because it chews through ammo quicker. So hopefully eventually they'll take a look at the MP7 and find some way to make this weapon unique because as it sits right now I really don't think that there is room for both of these weapons. The M5K is just going to be the superior choice. Now, let's move on to the loadout for this weapon. 
I personally like to run squad grenade simply because this is a weapon that's a close quarter scenario thing and this allows you to push people in directions that you want them to go but keep in mind as I've said this weapon fires fast so having squad ammo might be the actual better choice for a lot of people um, especially if your targets are not clumping up too much and grenades aren't doing you very good then ammo is really going to be needed because this gun will just chew through them and you'll end up falling back on your pistol a lot so those are the two I would kind of suggest but there's also obviously um, cover and suppressive fire are both great options as well so it's really going to come down to play style but if you got to fall back on something it's probably going to be squad ammo because this weapon really can use that and then you've got sight options. Um, the red dot and the cobra are suggested, but a lot of people also like iron sights. This weapon is basically as accurate from the hip as it is aiming down the sights. Unless you're moving, then it's actually a little bit more accurate aiming down the sights, but not very much. So some people prefer to take away that scope and have more screen space available to them. I personally haven't ever noticed anybody hiding behind the scope, so it's not something that's bothered me. But if it bothers you, run it with iron sights. You don't really need to aim this gun down the sight anyways. And if you like a sight, I personally do. I still aim down the sights of this weapon sometimes, then grab the red dot or the cobra, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. They're basically the same thing, just with, you know, different reticle and a different border on them. And then, you're going to want to take laser and extended clip. Um, if you're in a really close quarter scenario, maybe against a lot of people with shotguns, then the flashlight's going to be fine because your targets are going to be so close to you that having the accuracy from the laser isn't going to make much of a difference. But if your targets are a little bit farther away, then having that accuracy bonus is going to be more beneficial. And the extended clip is a must for this weapon. I cannot run this weapon without anything else. You'll just lack that killing power. Yes, the 25 damage was nice as a bump up, but this weapon still needs that extended clip because even then you're going to end up chewing through your ammo with that even if you take squad ammo sometimes it's still going to be a problem so take the extended clips i mean you can try some other things but i guarantee you you will go back to the extended clips now that's going to be it for this review um aftermath is here and there is a few changes for other weapons i'm going to be reviewing numerous ones i've got an m416 review coming out as well so check out that check out some of my other reviews i plan to be reviewing the modes as well scavenger and some of the maps so take a look back later as always this is Kurgan, and thanks for watching.